Back in my country, life was terrible for me because when I lost my mother, my father also left us. I lost my mother and my twin brother during birth. I was born in the village. That time, my father couldn't take care of me. When I was young, I grew up with my grandparents. But before then, my mother would come every day to visit us. During June, that was almost my birthday. My mother promised to visit us, but that time she, she died because of heart attack. Sometimes you stay a day without eating. You walk to far distances to get water. They came in looking so devastated. You know, you know seeing them looking so sober. You see them haggard, you know, and um, coming into the environment everywhere looks so strange to them and so scared. My mother has a, a baby boy. Two of them died at the same time. Our father also left us because when he saw the situation is too bad, he left us with our big brother. Up to now, I can't know where he is. Now we are scattered. My brother goes somewhere, and me and my small brother, we are in the orphanage. In the orphanage, life was so difficult. They don't take care of us. I thank God for our daddy, the president, and uh, the wife, that's the vice president. Um, what they did was that every evening, these children would be taken to his house, okay, at the government house and he has to put up a party, you know, you know, with some of the teachers there. So, in order to make them happy, to come out from that emotional you know, environment where they are coming from. So we are just teaching the child, you know, about um, God and all that. And the child was talking about how his parents were killed, okay? That he, he has not forgiven that an opportunity comes, he will retaliate. And then later on, after that, he was asked the student, um, what about what you said someday? You said uh, you are going to retaliate, you know? Okay. He smiled. He said, no, I forgive you. My experience in Rofoka is really unbelievable because my life is totally changed. Before, I'm such a poor child, but now I have a father, and I'm reading in an environment whereby you will not feel any bad thing. And we have been touched by well-trained teachers from different parts of Nigeria and Africa. And in Ufoka, everybody counts. We don't care about where they come from other countries, as long as you're in Africa, you are one family. This place you sit in today might be smaller than a village, it might be smaller than a city, it might be smaller than a state, a province, or a country, but I'm happy to welcome you to Africa, because as these flags are mounted, so shall you understand that every child seated here is representing Africa. So welcome to Africa. I should be able to say bonjour. I should be able to say Aquaba, I should be able to say Bondias, I should be able to say Lulaba because you are in Africa. Since I came to Rovoka, my life has changed and when I came to Nigeria, I couldn't speak English. Now I'm speaking English and we are learning with standard materials and we have international teachers. I've been able to learn many things from Rogers and Vision, such as speaking standard English, some international languages like French, Portuguese, and many others. According to my belief that education can help me when I put determination and hard work. Because if I work hard and I don't give up in my daily basis, I will put education good and at the end of the day, I will achieve my goal. My name is Fatima Moenke. I come from Sierra. I'm Anjaman. I'm from Ethiopia. I'm Kazi. I'm from Nigeria. Emmanuel. I'm from South Sudan.